Hey guys, and welcome to part 17 of The Sims 4 Let's Play. So, the twins will be aging up in this part, which is pretty exciting. They're actually going to have, like, actual personalities and be able to move and walk around and just be, like, little people. Um, still don't know if I'm going to have them share this room. Is that awkward or... I don't know. I don't know. I might just have them share the room for now since they don't have too much money. Uh, but I might add an upstairs over the, the next couple parts. So maybe they'll be able to uh, like have some more space upstairs. And we'll make this like, I don't know, like kind of like a rec room or something. We'll figure something out, guys. So Harmony is going to draw people. She can now officially draw people because... She leveled up in the creativity skill. Um, and I still get this glitch that says she's having a casual discussion with Peyton when Peyton isn't even there. Peyton is at work. So it's kind of a weird little glitch, guys. But it's not the demon baby, right? So who cares? Who cares? Okay. She's going to watch the Children's Network like she always does whenever she's doing this. Animal jokes. Oh my gosh, this is the same exact chance card that we got in the last part. Um, a local animal shelter. So we're going to mine the internet. Okay. How dare Peyton insult the dignity of animals by laughing at their expense? Oh my gosh, she can't win. I chose the opposite one that I chose last time. She still ended up losing her job performance. Oh my gosh, the crowd is generous with their disapproval <laughs> and stingy with their donations. Um, Peyton donates part of her pay to make up for it. Oh, what? <laughs> no, that is not okay. That is not okay. I chose the opposite on purpose because the last one she got in trouble too. I feel like, ooh, cash shortage. Okay, so now Lucas has one. Um, and the thing about chance cards in The Sims 4 is you cannot ignore them. Like you have to choose, but that's, that's kind of neat, I guess, because I always used to ignore them in The Sims 2. <laughs> Um, all right, so it's finally the end of Lucas's shift, but he can't go home yet. The cash register's short. Lucas knows this wasn't his doing and has to decide to either report his co-worker or keep quiet about it. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess report co-worker. It seems this isn't the first time the register has come up short. After being fired, Lucas's co-worker yells at him. Oh, performance gain. Okay, I read that totally wrong. I'm thinking, after Lucas was fired, his co-worker yelled at him. I'm like, well, that isn't that freaking kicking you while you're down. But no, he's, he's, he's good. He's good. Performance gain was small. Awesome. Awesome. Alrighty. So, she needs to still attend school while energized. Uh, she did her homework. I love that she watches the Children's Network whenever she's drawing. It's super cute. Those aren't people. Those are not people. Though That is a soccer ball. And I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Some glitter. How is that people, guys? <laughs> I had her draw people and it's a soccer ball. What? It's a person kicking a soccer ball. So. Let's go ahead it's kind of weird you have to put it in their inventory before you can add it to the wall. So here, here's her little wall of... Her wall of artwork. It's amazing. I think Hype No Frog needs a little friend. Guys, let's go ahead and give him a little view. <laughs> See what she thinks of Mr. Hype No Frog. <laughs> Look, there's a kid over there you could have been friends with. Could have... All right, I, re I really want to find another frog. There's a hypno frog in this terrarium. Of course there is. Um, oh my God, Alexander, you scared me. <laughs> Literally every day he's right there. Let's go ahead and invite him in. And we'll ask if he wants to go look for frogs with us. Do you wanna go look for frogs? Me and my sister, well, I call her my sister. She's like, she's like my best friend, but we used to go when we were younger, we would go and look for salamanders. And, yeah, that kind of reminds me of that. They should be able to go and, like, look for salamanders. Maybe they can. I don't know. I don't think so, though. I haven't gotten to that yet. But let's go ahead and talk about our dreams since she can do that, since she's inspired. Um, all right. I don't know where frogs would be. Um, there's obviously not going to be any, like, in their backyard. But 
Uh, there's a little fishing place over here. Oh, look, she can search here for frogs. Let's go ahead and look over by the little fishing area. This is a gorgeous little pond. Like, look at how the water, like, sparkles. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. The water in The Sims 4 is just amazing. Amazing. And so beautiful. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, there are, like, leaves falling or something. Whatever that is. Whatever that is, it's gorgeous. Um... <laughs> All right, girl, you come in, quit chatting with him, and go look for your frogs. I don't know if we're going to hit a loading screen or not. We did not hit a loading screen. That is so awesome to know. So now we know we can have him go fishing over here, anything, at any time, and don't have to worry about it. Harmony found a surfer eggplant frog. Where are they getting these names? I don't even think those are real names for it for frogs. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Let's go ahead and have her go fishing while she's here. And we will add surfer eggplant frog <laughs> to our house. She acquired the mental skill. So the wide world of programming parabola. Oh my gosh. Big words for me. And checkmates awaits. Just don't let it get to her head. What a day of work. Peyton is back home. Okay. Peyton's probably ready to pass out. Probably. Are these kids going to age up anytime soon or what? Because seriously. Let's go ahead and breastfeed them. Before they age up. Hopefully she doesn't pass out. She probably will. She probably will. She is still fishing. Alright. Breastfeed that one. Breastfeed the other one. They should age up pretty soon, but we'll have her go to sleep till they do, I guess. Um, and she's still fishing. I don't know if she's going to catch anything or not, but it's kind of neat. Look at the ducks. They're so cute. Oh, I think they're like leaves falling off of this tree or something, but they're gorgeous. I love that a lot. A lot. I'm waiting for like a sea monster to come up and like <laughs> devour the ducks or something. Harmony caught a perch worth seven small hands. Well, you know, so she can mount it. Should we have her mount it? We will name it. We will name it Frederick because any cool fish is going to be named Frederick. Let's be honest. And we will have it mounted too. <laughs> awesome. Frederick. Poor Frederick. Poor, poor Frederick. We need to hang this up, like, right on, like, in their dining room. Yes. The tiniest fish she could have possibly caught. Oh, doesn't he just look sad? He really does. Poor Frederick. <laughs> oh, she caught a minnow, too. Okay, we'll sell that. All right, you can stop fishing. She has a talent for fishing. Who knew, Harmony? Who knew? All right, so we need to get make some room for Mr. Eggplant Frog over here. Let's go ahead and make some room. I don't even know where to put it, guys. Oh, gosh. I did not think this through. Can we... I don't know. Can we move this over a little bit? Not really. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll maybe we can move stuff over. If not, we can just put it in Harmony's room. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put it in Harmony's. Yeah, we'll we'll put it in Harmony's room. All right, if it will fit, let's go ahead and move the easel. Or, or or no, can we put it right here? We can. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll get the. Surfer Eggplant. I wish you could name it. I really wish you could name it, but you can't. Um, so we will put that right there. So now she has her little Surfer Eggplant frog. Oh my gosh, it's blue and purple. That is the coolest looking frog ever. 
Oh my gosh, I want to see all the different frogs that you can get in the game because they all look different. That's kind of neat. Okay. Alexander is still here. Why am I not surprised? She's returning home. Uh, go ahead and get something to eat. Go get some leftover macaroni and cheese. And then you can go to bed. And I don't know when her brother and sister are aging up, but it should be maybe tomorrow because it should be pretty soon. Okay, guys. So my game crashed. <laughs> so. So, yeah. I did get, um, I got Frederick back <laughs> and I got little surfer dude. Um, oh no, it's a spotted eggplant frog. So no more surfer eggplant frog, which is, which is too bad, but, but we've got a spotted one that looks kind of the same. So it is what it is, guys. What can I say? Um, <laughs> I really don't know why the game crashed, but it just decided to randomly crash. So it is what it is, I guess. I guess. All right, why don't you clean up your bowl? Oh, go draw your people because you still have to add that picture to the wall where Hypno is. <laughs> because I'm sure he would just love it. He'd love it. And then you really need to go to bed because it's one in the morning and <laughs> and it's just it's one in the morning okay so let's put this right there Alrighty. and we'll have her go pee and go to bed okay oh yes you broke the toilet thank you so much harmony thanks girl love ya Oh my gosh. So when does he get home from work? Oh, maybe he gets home at two. He probably gets home at two. Oh, where are you? Where are you going? You need to eat? Okay. Your children are not happy with you. Go change their dirty diapers. <laughs> okay, so Lucas is home from work. Um, he needs to go to bed. Um, can you feed them? And then go back to bed. Yes. Alrighty guys, so yeah, I don't know why the twins haven't aged up yet, but we will go ahead and skip to the morning and see if they age up then. Okay guys, so it was a rough night again with the twins. I don't know why they haven't aged up yet, but they need to because they have seriously kept them up all night. They are exhausted. They all have to pee. They're hungry. They need fun. They stink. She's she's actually doing okay. She's going to go to sleep for a while before she has to go to work at 5 Friends birthday. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Harmony wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should she ask her friend or let it go? Um, I would say ask the friend. Oops, turns out the party wasn't even for Harmony's friend. It was only a show on TV. What? She feels a little silly, but is glad she asked. Why? I don't, I don't get it. It was for a show on TV. Okay. Yeah, go use the toilet when you're done. Why won't they age up? Oh my gosh, they are really annoying. Really annoying. Go ahead and go back to bed. And then, oh my god, now this one's awake. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I know I can age them up manually, but I, I just don't understand why they haven't aged up yet. I really don't. Let's go ahead and cuddle it it <laughs> cuddle it and then he's doing that and then we'll have him go watch tv or something to get his fun up a little bit and then i'll get something to eat um and have some rest he actually has off today which is pretty awesome actually oh my god they wake up like literally every two seconds Jason would like to come over. Why does he look like a hot dog? Okay, sure. But why does he look like a hot dog is what I want to know. Shush. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't do this. I can't. I'm losing my mind. And they're just simulated babies. <laughs> Alright. Did Jason come over? I don't see a hot dog. 
Oh, yes, I do. Why is he dressed like a hot dog? <laughs> Lucas is like, I feel so awkward right now. Alright, she's gonna go back to bed. Alright, he can go serve up some lunch. Go make some garden salad for yourself and Jason. This kitchen is nasty. We need to get rid of all this stuff. Like, why? Ew. You. Okay. Okay. And, yeah. Go ahead and go make some lunch. And then we'll probably go to bed and let Jason do his thing because he's seriously exhausted. If the babies wake up one more time and start screaming, <laughs> I'm going to age them up automatically, um, manually. All right, so Harmony is done with school. She's doing satisfactory work, blah, blah, blah. We've heard it all. I've tried to have her go to school energized, guys, but it's hard. Have your sim take a nap or a brisk shower. I've done that and it just doesn't seem to work for her too well. Let's go ahead and have her clean up because it's disgusting around here. It really is. All right, grab a serving of that. Have her wake up and grab a serving too. Ew, this is so nasty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Can we throw that away? No. Darn. Oh my god, she actually scrapes the food off the plate into the trash can. That's the first time I've noticed that. That is so cool. So cool. Jason, why are you a hot dog? Why? Oh my gosh, it's almost Peyton's birthday. What? That was that's crazy that it's gonna be her birthday. I cannot believe that. Okay, we really need to Oh, Lola! Oh oh my gosh, <laughs> that happened so quickly. Lola is becoming a child. Oh, she's blonde like her mom. Alright, select a trait and a childhood aspiration. Okay, so for an aspiration, we're going to have her try to be the social butterfly because I just think that's like what she would be. Um, okay, so social butterfly. Your sim wants to talk to everyone and make friends. Yes, and we'll pick a trait. We'll just have her. Should we have her be a bit of a snob or what? I think we're going to have her be, maybe she can't be a snob. That says slob. Okay. Well, maybe she can't be a snob then. So what can she be? Um, we'll have her be outgoing because I think that will work well with being a social butterfly, right? Right. All right. So Lola is becoming a child. Lola just became a child. All right. What about Charlie? Oh, Charlie is becoming a child. Oh. oh my god, they're blonde. They actually look like twins. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, so Char aren't Charlie and Lola blonde on the TV show too? That's funny. All right, Charlie, I think we're, he's going to be a bit of a rambunctious scamp. And he's going to be a bit of a rebellious boy. Let's see. He'll be mean. <laughs> no, he won't be mean. But he will be a goofball. Aw, he's cute, guys. Oh, he's cute. He looks like Peyton, and so does Lola, I think. But they actually look like identical twins. Like, they have the same hair and eye color, it looks like. It looks like they do. Oh my gosh, they're super cute. I really want to give them makeovers and stuff. We'll have to do that. Um, Let's go ahead and have Charlie. Oh my god, Charlie is starving. Charlie, go get some food, dude. Get some food. Are you starving too? Yes. They just, they were just breastfed. Go grab a serving. All right. Peyton's off to work. You have 24 hours to pay your bills. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Harmony's like, oh, great. They're officially my age. Look at her face. <laughs> She's like, oh, the joy. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, she made a new friend already. Must have been her brother. All right, we're going to have Charlie go and change their appearance. Okay, let's go ahead and buy them um, each a bed. Um, 
we'll get this one for Charlie. And we'll get this one for Lula. I don't know, just for now, guys. <laughs> just for now, let's go ahead and sell these bassinets because we don't need them anymore. Um, we probably should get some wallpaper too. So let's see. Um, yeah, let's go look at the wallpaper. Ch -ch -ch. Okay, this might work, I guess. And we'll get them some carpet. Carpet. And it will be blue. Oops, blue. Or, hmm. Yeah, we'll just get, we'll just get this, I guess. And then, we should probably get them a light. Kids wall light. We'll make it blue. <laughs> I'm just doing this so quick right now, guys. I'll probably edit it later. A little bit. Alright, so they have some light. And then we should probably get them some kind of uh, ch -ch -ch kids rooms. Okay, and then are there dressers? There are. Okay, so let's get this one. This one looks nice. We'll get it in purple. Or is that a bookcase? That's a bookcase. Wow. I thought it was a dresser. I looked just quickly enough that I thought it was a dresser. Wow, Whitney. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. All right. And then we'll get them a mirror maybe to change their appearance. If you can do that. I think you can. Um, I don't know. We'll go ahead and get them a mirror though. Let's see. Decorations. Mirrors. Uh, we'll get blue. Great. Okay. All right, Charlie. <laughs> All right, Charlie, let's go um, plan your outfits and change your appearance. And your sister can do the same. Why couldn't he um, plan his outfit? That was weird. That was weird. Maybe I have to move it or something. But oh well, we'll go ahead and change his appearance first, I guess. Uh, let's see. Or can we change? Oh, we can change his outfit in the mirror too. Okay, we'll just do that then. Um, I actually kind of like his outfit. Uh, maybe we could make the shirt darker. Make him look a little bit more, a bit more rebellious, I guess you could say. Uh, maybe the, sh the jeans, too. That looks pretty cool. That looked pretty nifty. We'll just do that. <laughs> and for the shoes. Some red shoes. He's super cute, guys. I really want to know what he'll look like when he's older, too. Because they he looks just like Peyton. And so does Lola. Alright, so... Charlie, what hair do you want to have, pal? All right. I don't know if they have anything rebellious. They kind of have this mohawk right here. This mohawk. Or... I do not like this. I do not like that at all. <laughs> um, ooh, they have like a longer one. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Um, I have like a spiky one. I kind of like that one too. That one or this one? Mm. I think we're going to go with this one. Yeah. Okay. And what about his formal wear? Um, I don't think... I don't know. I'm not too worried about his formal wear. Athletic. Sleepwear. Party. Yeah, I think he's good. I don't... I mean... I don't know how many parties they're going to throw. They still have to throw a party. Um, so I think he's good. I'm more, I'm more looking into Lola's appearance. I don't know. I've, I've always had more fun, like, um, stylizing, whatever you want to call it, stylizing girl sims. 
I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they have cuter clothes or and they have like makeup and more hairstyles and all that stuff. But I just always like making over the girls more than the guys, I guess you could say. All right. So, Charlie, can you go um, go to sleep? And she is going to go change her parents now. I am going to change their room off camera so I can take the time to actually make it look decent because it just looks so, so awful to me right now. Oh, she has to pee, so she's doing the pee-pee dance. Okay, so this is Lola's look. Um, I can't tell if she's a little bit on the chunkier side or if it's just the shirt. She's a little, she's a little, I don't know why they're chunk, like, Peyton wasn't, maybe, um, maybe Lucas was. I didn't realize if he was, but... So she's going to be our girly girl. She's going to, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love that she's like identical to Charlie, except she, I think she has her dad's eyes. I think he has green eyes. I love the clip in the hair. I just noticed that. That's super cute. All right. So these are our options. She's obviously, I'm not, she's not going to have the same hairstyle as Harmony, but this one's kind of cute. The short do bangs yeah. uh like the pom-poms <laughs> that's what it looks like a little bun oh she's super cute Ooh, a long braid that's pretty a little ponytail little pigtails um i kind of like the pigtails look on her really i do um, long hair. Long hair looks good, too. Uh, but, oops. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Oh, I guess you can change all of their appearances. Um, while you're just changing one person's appearance, if that makes any sense. That's kind of neat. I did not know that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging the pigtails. I am digging the pigtails. Uh... Either the pigtails or the braid. Yeah, I'm going to get the pigtails. All right. Let's go ahead into her everyday wear. Now she is going to be super girly. So let's see what we can do. I love this. I think it's super cute. <laughs> I really do. All right. She could have a frilly little dress. Or... This is like formal wear, but she could she could do that too. Um, hmm. Let's see. Shorts. Harmony already has a skirt like that, so I don't think we're gonna do that. I do like the shirt that she had on though, with the little um like dancing shoes and stuff. Okay, guys. So I remembered that I actually wanted to have so one of their kids wear those hats that came with a deluxe edition. So I went ahead and gave him a tiger hat since, you know, that's, you know, kind of a rough around the edges animal. I guess I don't know. Whatever you want to say. And this is Lola. She's super cute, super feminine, girly. Love her. She's adorable. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to decorate their room and maybe even renovate the house a little bit off camera and and yeah we'll get to know their personalities better in the next parts and stuff and whatnot so yeah if you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see in this let's play or whatnot don't be afraid to ask or suggest stuff for me so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this part here guys and if you liked it go ahead give it a like comment and if you want to see more videos from me in the future go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next part bye